welcome back my youtube channel sales for Sunt. this is rohit and today i'm going to explain to you about enhanced domain in salesforce right so these all features related to our latest release spring 23 and you will be get to know about these things so i will explain to you all each and every points regarding this enhanced domain in salesforce so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and let get it started without any further delay so here and uh, first of all we have to know about this what are enhanced domains so with enhanced domain your company specific my domain name is including your URLs in the sidebar you will be see the URL I will show you the practical how to change it and how to deploy this do enhanced domain and how to enable it so please watch this video until end okay so now including salesforce sites and experience cloud sites instance names are removed and package names are removed from some urls with no instance name enhance my domain urls are easier for user to remember and remain stabilized when your org is moved to another salesforce instance so consist domain formats improve the user experience and standardize user or URLs for use in custom code and API calls. Salesforce enhanced domains also comply with the latest browser requirements. So it should be latest browser. Allow your user to access Salesforce using browser that blocks uh, third-party cookies. So I will show you how to enable it and how to disable it. All the things. So now here, second is enhanced domain provide multiple benefits. So if you want to enable that uh, enhanced domain in your org, so it provides some more flexibility or more security or more reliability or more readability pop, right? So branding, first of all branding. So all URLs across your org contain your company specific my domain name, including URLs for your experience cloud sites, Salesforce sites, Visual Force pages and content files. Stability with no instance name, your orgs URLs remain stabilized when your org is moved to another Salesforce instance compliance enhanced domain compliance with the latest browser requirements especially they avoid third-party cookies otherwise known as a cross-site resource error okay so this is the some benefits about the you know enhanced domain and this kind of benefits you can take from the salesforce side if you want to enable it so well and good so now let me show you the next feature is and here now you can see my domain url formats with enhanced domain so if you enable this enhanced domain in your org you will be see this kind of url bar in browser like so for example purpose here you can see the login right so login url you know very well in salesforce login url for sandboxes test.salesforce.com for production login.salesforce.com right same thing here you can see if if you already enable it so you will be see like my domain name dot my dot salesforce.com so this is the login url after the enhanced domain format right then contain files my domain is the common for all right based on your org is a common right and then you can see file.force.com so based on the url format you can easily identify this is regarding our content files because it's a file included and my.salesforce.com means it's the login url experience cloud sites so here in the enhanced domain now you can see this is a your domain dot my dot site dot com so here you you can easily identify this is the experience cloud site and this is the url of the experience cloud site right experience builder then this is your domain name builder.salesforce-experience.com so based on this url you can easily recognize this is the experience builder url right so it's easy to understand and easy to read read right and the salesforce site so suppose we have salesforce site so it contain dot my dot salesforce hyphen sites so you can easily recognize this is the site URL, right? Also, now you can see Visual Force pages, and uh, under Visual Force pages, we have like package name dot vf dot force dot com, right? So you can easily understand this is the vf page example or URL 
under this enhanced domain format then sandbox login so if you have sandbox so you can easily recognize hyphen hyphen sandbox name your sandbox name may be like xyz or abc based on your uh, configuration so it will become here right so now here sandbox name dot sandbox dot my dot salesforce dot com so based on this keyword you can easily recognize this is the sandbox dot sandbox right and finally if you have experience cloud sites in a sandbox org so you will be see like uh, hyphen hyphen sandbox name dot sandbox dot my dot site dot com so that is related to the experience cloud sites so based on your enhanced domain format you can take this benefit it's a very useful and very important in spring 23 release right so you have to enable it and you can convey or you can collaborate your developers or seniors maybe team leader or manager or senior architect level person so you can just tell him or her about this this enhanced domain right so this is a very most important for us so based on the url you can easily recognize this is sandbox this is the production this is the experience cloud side this is the experience builder salesforce side visual for spaces or sandboxes okay so i hope you understand these things right now the fourth feature is what are the timelines for the enabling enhancement domain in salesforce org so you have to remember it when we enable this enhancement domain in salesforce org so salesforce enforce enhanced domain for sandboxes and non production org in winter 23 so it's already there in the last release and you can postpone the enforcement using the my domain setting and they are required for production or and all other remaining orgs in spring 23 so this is the new features under the spring 23 so you can enable it and you can take the benefit from here right so how can i enable in enha enhanced domains right so from the setup in the quick find box enter my domain and then select my domain under my domain details select the edit button and uh, you will be see here this kind of screen like this and once you uh, enable this checkbox this is a very most important use enhancement enhanced domain use enhanced domains this is the checkbox you have to enable it if you take this benefit so you have to enable it once you enable it now after that you have to uh, if you more suffix are available for your org my domain or suffix drop down it list appear enhanced domains can only be enabled for the or standard suffix right so here you can see this kind of things then select the use enhanced domain and after that you have to click on this save button and after 2 3 minutes so based on the your network bandwidth or you know speed so it's automatic enabled your domain within minutes right so now what are the potential impact of the enhancement domain enforcement so user can experience error when attempting to the access salesforce including but not limited to the experience cloud sites and salesforce site and visual for spaces some embedded content is stored in salesforce no longer appears third party application can lose ac access the uh, to your data single sign on integration with sandbox can fail and single sign on integration with org using the star.cloudforce.com and star.database.com domain suffix can fail so you have to consider this kind of you know potential impact of your enhancement domain after enabling this features right so you have to consider these things thank you i hope you learn something new in this video if you like this video please share with your friends and colleagues so they that will be good for me and please stay tuned till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching